Hey guys, it's Shell. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Saturday and whew, I'm about to go take a dance class. It is a beginner hip hop choreographed dance class and I have no idea what to expect because the ages are 10 and up. So am I about to walk into a room where it's just going to be me? Am I about to walk into a room where there's like 150 people? Am I about to walk into a room where there's like 10 people and they're all kids? I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to get myself into. I'm about to walk into a room that they say is beginner and I'm like, this is not beginner. I don't know, but I'm just excited to go and be stepping out of my comfort zone because when I found this class, I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. And then I'm like, oh, like trying to make all these excuses because it is at a weird time. I'm like, mm, I really wish it was a little earlier, but we're done with the excuses. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a good time regardless of what the situation looks like. And I'm just gonna go have fun and enjoy myself because really at the end of the day, that's what dance is all about, you know? And I, I feel like whenever I go into any kind of dance class I've ever been into, I never felt judged once and I feel like it's my safe space. So I'm very, very, very excited to go. Anyways, it's a virtual. We had a date, a virtual date on this past Thursday. It was so good. First of all, I'm back to me, okay? You know, like I have been experiencing massive fatigue. So the past three dates prior to this last one, because that was our fourth virtual date, and those other dates, I was not feeling myself. I was not, I was very fatigued. I, I'm not gonna say I put in effort. I put in makeup, all that kind of stuff, but I didn't have my nails done. I just threw on a shirt, like whatever. Just kind of, I also really like him now. So I'm like putting in like effort and stuff, but we've been texting. Oh my gosh, you guys, mm, I really like him. Uh, so anyways, we're probably gonna have another virtual date this week coming up, but for sure, we're going to meet in person next Saturday. And of course, I'm not gonna take you guys along along, but you guys will come and we'll get ready together. And maybe I'll make it a whole separate video where I get ready, I pick my outfit. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna wear. It's gonna be hot that day too. But we're just gonna go meet for coffee. It's still gonna be like super chill, super casual. But um, anyways, <clears throat> yeah, the lot going on this week. Uh, first, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you some footage from yesterday. I went to go look at a house. If you guys don't know, my lease is coming up and I talked about wanting to move and <clears throat> they sent me my lease renewal. <clears throat> the price, in, in my opinion, is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm like, I don't want to have to pay this for this apartment. But then also I, it's just like it's a very hard decision on what I'm going to do because I have not found a house that I like. Like I have been looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. Mr. Virtual is even helping me look and it's just not coming up with things. Now the house I'm going to look at today, I really think that I'm gonna fall in love with, but I just don't think it's gonna work with the time frame and everything. So we'll just see, but I'm gonna go back to yesterday. I'm gonna show y'all the house that we went and looked at yesterday. Okay, so here is this house. And then you have a tiny little closet. I think this house is gonna be too small for us, but we're gonna look anyways. Oh, you have another closet, okay. And then I don't like the fact that there's no carpet, but I do like the, I do like the, I know I'm sure it's probably not real actual hardwood, but closets, decent size, not bad. Um, how do you feel about there being a bedroom like right at the front door? I do like the arches. I think that's really cool. I also like the paint. It's a gray, so that'd be good for filming. This is kind of weird. There's a bedroom and then there's like right at the front. I don't know that I like this, but this is kind of cute. Is that fake? Oh, I think that's just for looks. Oh, well, that top one is. No, that one's just for looks. <clears throat> Let me see it. So this is one bathroom. <laughs> and then, oh no, it's nice though. I don't like the way it smells in here. But this is a very nice kitchen. You like it? 
Yeah. I thought you wanted a white Well, color. yes, I prefer white. But it's still really nice. It's very spacious. Very, very, very spacious. I do a Does this have a... I mean, I guess you could technically kind of put stools here because there's like a little bit of a lip, I guess. But this is a very spacious living room. I do like this. You've got the fireplace, and then of course you've got that. Is it fenced in back there? It's not fenced in. You know what? One thing I noticed in Georgia is pretty much all of the houses that I viewed in Georgia, mostly all of them had a fenced in yard, and pretty much every single house I've looked at so far has not had a fenced in yard. I think except for one. Do that one house. I mean, this is really nice. It's very spacious and open. And I love the little... And I also like the fact that there's a lot of recess lighting. No boob lights. I like that. I like that fireplace too. This must be the master. So, it's very spacious. The only thing I worry about in a, in a house like this though, with no carpet, is the echo in my videos. That would not be good. But, oh, oh, hello. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, oops. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. There's only two windows as far as like lighting concern too, but I, I kind of like that because you could either put the bed here, here, I don't know about a bed with a door right there, but here's the bathroom. Nice. Nice and bright and big. Really good lighting in this bathroom. Um, this is actually a really good place for privacy, like a house for privacy, because you got one room right there, one room right there, and then one room right here. See that? You, you don't like that. No, yeah. Laundry room. Too far apart, too far apart. Yeah. This is the door to the garage, and then here is the third bedroom. Oh, this is very small. <clears throat> and then the closet. <clears throat> Same. And that's the whole house. Okay, so thoughts. It was kind of smelly in there. That kitchen was so huge. Really, really, really like the kitchen. Would have preferred for it to be white. But other than that, it was really big. Don't love the area. Uh, I also want access to a pool, and I don't think we have access to a pool here. And it was small, plus the bedrooms were very spaced out, which be, which would be nice for privacy reasons, but Ava didn't like that. And I don't, she doesn't, you know, I don't blame her on that. So, yeah, the search continues. So, yeah. We got a lot to do today. I'm not even gonna get ready because obviously I'm gonna go take a dance class. Then after that, I gotta go straight to donate some clothes. Uh, gotta do laundry today. Gotta go, go grocery shopping. So yeah, it's a because we also have another house to go look at today. So yeah, I will see you guys after dance class and I'll let you guys know how it was. Just got out. It was it was hard. It was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be for sure. Um, she wasn't playing the music and when she was playing the music you really couldn't hear the words and i'm very much so a listen to the words kind of pick up the remember the dance moves according to what they're saying and so it was it was more difficult for me because of that reason but i will show you the dance look at the guy that's next to me he was killing it he was killing it every single time but, um, yeah, I mean, for my very first time, I think I did really good. And I know that he freaking killed it, too, especially for his first time. He did really good, but he doesn't want me to show y'all his video, so no, I'm I not don't gonna... care. You can't. Oh, well, I'll show you his video, too, but he did really good. Um, I just messed up on the end. But, yeah, so I'll show you the video. Obviously, I can't do any of the music, but I can show you guys. And, ooh, let me put on some sanitizer. On top of that, um, 
I can do show you also the dancer and like what it was actually supposed to look like <laughs> versus how we made it look. Well, I mean, then again, she also is a professional dancer yeah. and she like added, she choreographed she it. She added more stuff to it. Yeah. So I mean like, you yeah, know, cause like, too. cause like she was like, Oh, do this. And then like she did it kind of like, not in a different way, but just like, you know, she showed us the simple, the simple version. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, and then you're going to have to add arms to it or whatever. But yeah. then like she she still kind of like did more, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And plus, she has like, her own only, swag, her own yeah. like style. Yeah, and then I was gonna say like, plus we only like um like we just learned it. So I mean. On top of that, um, I could get it when we were moving slow. The minute we picked up and actually went to beat, I was lost. I could not, for whatever reason, get this part where it was like you lift up your leg. And then you go back and you do a ball chain and then you like go like this to turn. Oh, y'all, I was so lost. But I feel like the moves individually weren't that hard at all. But when you go to put them together at speed, that's where it's like, oh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyways, we're going to head on home, get Ava. Okay, so we're back home. I just ate. Um, y'all, I popped the rest of my nails. Well, not the rest of them, just these four. I, oh my gosh, I'm a burp. So I have that one and then all of these left. But we were talking about flexibility and splits because Ava used to be super flexible. And Katrell was like, well, if you don't practice it, then you lose it. And I'm like, uh-uh, because I guarantee I haven't done a split in forever. And I was like, I guarantee I can still do one. So we're going to try. I hadn't done it. He tried one. He did like half halfway. But you've never been able to do a split. I just don't know where to set this up. I guess no, because I'm going to say I'm going to close these blinds. And then I'm going to set it up right there. Because I think I can do a split with rights. But see, I can't move. Can't just take off your shoes. How did you move? I don't want to take off my shoes. Let me move. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of scared to do one now. Get closer to it. Because it's been a minute. Like, the lot of okay, I think is, I actually think it's this way. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I can't do one! Oh my gosh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe it is this way. Kind of. I mean, Ugh. yeah. <sighs> oh, I did it. But I hurt my back. Did you see it? Continue to lose weight, that's just gonna get better and better and better. Okay, so we just got to the house and there's literal cars parked in the parking lot or in the in the in the driveway. First of all, this is just a complete waste of time. The woman shelter thing is closed. Today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. Wait, did you say Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday? So we weren't able to donate the clothes. And then we just came to this house, and the house, they literally have cars in the park, in, in the driveway. And I'm like, it doesn't have a for rent sign or anything. It literally has nothing. So I'm like, I'm not going in there. What if there's people, I mean, I don't know. And then I tried calling this number, and it was like, oh, we recognize your phone number. Are you, da -da -da? And so it does, it's not like directly to a person. So I'm just like, you know what? We're just not going to view it. I don't like this area anyways. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't move here, especially for that price. Mm -mm. So we're just going to go to Walmart. Mm, I'm kind of sad because I really want to see the inside because the inside looked really cool. But um, yeah, it, it's a no. So I guess we won't be looking at a house today. Anyways, we'll see y'all when we get back from the grocery store. Hey guys, happy Monday. So it is Little Mermaid Day. We are going to see the Little Mermaid. It is nasty outside. It's raining, it's chilly, it's gross. It's been like this since Friday. I'm over it. It's really affecting my mood. Rain, rain, go away. Um, but I'm really excited to go see the Little Mermaid. I was supposed to go look at a house today found a house on one of the websites, freaking fell in love with it, okay? But I knew when I looked at it, because I was gonna go look at it yesterday, and then I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna let it go one day because it was only listed for one day and I was like that house is too good to be true I can't move in right now I can't sign a lease right now I mean could I do I have the money to sign a lease and <laughs> be paying rent for two places no so with that being said I was like I really don't want to get my hopes up but I have a feeling that this house is going to go today so I'm just gonna tell the property manager that I want to go look at it Monday morning that way I won't get my hopes up because I just knew lo and behold she got back with me she emailed me last night and she said someone's on the lease today and I was like I figured <laughs> so it was perfect though y'all from what I could see I mean it's almost pretty identical to what I'm looking for not too big not too small it was in my price range it was in the area I wanted but those kind of houses are going to be snatched up very quickly because if you could see the houses I'm looking at in this area, I'm just like, I don't know. So I have to make a decision by Wednesday. So by Wednesday and by the end of this vlog, y'all will know, are we moving? Are we staying? What are we doing? Because I still, sometimes I'm like, yes, we're moving. And then other times I'm like, no, we're staying. And then I'm like, get out of your comfort zone. God's going to take care of you. He's got you. Like, go, go move. Like, put in your 60 day notice. And then I'm just like, whenever I think about staying here, that fear kind of goes away. And it's like, I feel like I can breathe. So I don't know. Um, something's on my camera. Okay. Um, so, it, I mean, obviously, it's like a huge decision. And going up in budget or feeling the need to increase my budget because that's what the house is run for around here. I just don't know. Like, I've had a lot of, I mean, I've had conversations with people um, telling me to go for it. Um, so, I don't know. It's a big decision, though. I'm here alone with two kids that I'm fully still financially taking care of 100%. So it's a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna um, bring a built bar. Y'all, if they still have these, I'm telling you, run and get them. They're the birthday cake puffs. They are so freaking good. They're my new favorite. MGE 10 saves you 10% on built bars. They're so freaking good. But I thought I was picking this movie for a good time and then I realized I'm like, it's not a great time because I ate lunch or I ate breakfast late. So I'm not gonna be hungry before we go. But I'm probably going to be hungry after we leave or like during the movie. So I was like a built puff to the rescue. Because this right here has 17 grams of protein. 16 grams of protein. And it has 150 calories. So I'm bringing this. And I want to stop by the Dollar Tree to pick up some snacks for the kids. For them to have for the movie. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Did you guys see The Little Mermaid? If you did, what did you think of it? I'm so excited. I did not realize until like a couple weeks ago that Melissa McCarthy is Ursula. And when I saw that she was Ursula, I was like, because oh, I freaking love her. And I've never seen her in anything but a comedy. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see this because of that. And then obviously we have our black mermaid Ariel, our black Ariel, <laughs> which I'm so excited for. Um... And, you know, for my kids to see that, too, obviously. Like, that's awesome. Ava's, like, super, well, they're both super excited. So, anyways, we're going to go. I will let y'all know. I know I'm going to love it. But, yeah, uh, Little Mermaid is definitely one of my favorite, favorite movies growing up. Absolutely. Little Mermaid and Cinderella. Those are my two favorites growing up. But, anyways, we're going to go to Dollar Tree. And we're kind of on rest. My son is, like, still getting ready. So, I'm like, we got to go. I was just going to share, so I'm like out of breath. You'll have to go see that movie. That movie was so good. Do you guys know what? I just realized. Oh my gosh. I've been slacking so bad today. I'm on my first water. I had to drink three of these and it's 436. I'm in trouble. Okay, I got to go to the dentist, y'all, tomorrow. I'm going to get, I guess, started on a cleaning. And then they're gonna like take x-rays and like, tell me what all I need done. And it's scaring me because I know I need a lot of work done. 
And I'm afraid that they're going to be like, it's $30,000. And I'm going to be like, all right, well, I don't know what to do. But I need to get my mouth fixed. I have dental insurance, but it's private and just through myself because I work for myself. And uh, deductible is not great. <laughs> it's not going to cover much. But, um, yeah, I'm a little nervous. Actually, I'm a lot nervous because I don't like the dentist. But apparently they have an emotional support dog, so that's cool. <laughs> Which I think that, yeah, it's really cool. So anyways, I need to get to going on my water. I also need to go do a workout and yeah, go see that movie. It was so good. Melissa McCarthy did such a good job. The guy who played Eric did such a good job. Like everyone, everyone did amazing and was amazing my favorite favorite live action by far far beats out and i love maleficent maleficent all of the ones that they did so good but it far beats out i mean it was so good it was so good okay i'm gonna go get to work on this water and i guess just hang by myself because they just you know you know and I'm not, I'm not dealing well with it, I'm going to be honest. But it's that stage of life. And this is the one I was dreading the most. I'm calling my mom. Uh, anyways, I will probably talk to y'all tomorrow and let y'all know what the dentist says. This is sweet Bella. <laughs> she's doing a lot better today. Still not 100%, but she's definitely getting there. Um, this is what I ended up purchasing for her, by the way. I got it from Amazon. This is the one that the lady at the front desk of the vet, um, recommended. And I'm also going to use this because she gets, she's so afraid of thunderstorms. So I'm going to try this. Um, well, I'm just going to give this to her every day, regardless of like, even when she's feeling better. But it says you can do up to two times a day. So I'll give it to her every day. And then if it's, you know, storming and she's like freaking the, you know what out, then I can just give her some and see if it helps. So yeah. But there's sweet Bella. <laughs> I'm so happy you're feeling better. I can't wait to get you out of this thing. I know you so more than me. Because I can't imagine living in this thing for the past. It's been five. It's been five weeks, y'all. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey. Tell your friends hi. Tell them you're doing better. Yeah. She loves this freaking oil, by the way. She goes crazy when she sees me bring this out. And that's why she's eating like she's eating right now. Because I put some of it on the food so there's your little dose of bella how precious i love you so much you, you can drink some water no yeah yeah now for me your girl's got a dentist appointment this morning it is 8 42 I have to be there at 9.30, so I gotta leave in a few here. But um I'm trying to like trust me, there have been like I'm like I'm gonna just reschedule. It's gonna be fine. Like I don't need to go today. Girl, you need to go. Just stop putting it off. You put it off for far too long. I'm just scared of what they're gonna say. Like, what if the work that I need done is like $30,000 on top of my insurance, you know, like my insurance isn't great. I mean, it's private insurance so I can get what I can get, but ooh, yeah. Anyways, I will update y'all after the doctor or the dentist. I will not be bringing my camera or anything. So I will update y'all when I get back home to let you know the damage, cause I know it's bad. I mean, I can physically see things wrong. So, um, fingers crossed it's not too bad. Or maybe there's like some kind of 
program where they're like, oh, are you a single mom? Yes. Well, we have donations that come in all the time. Wouldn't that be amazing? They should really do that. They really, truly should do that for single moms, um, you know, people have like been through stuff, you know, my hair is nasty. I I need to, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put up in a ponytail. I was gonna put a hat on, but uh, probably not. Anyways, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. <laughs> not like it's gonna matter. Um, you done eating? Spend a little bit more time here with her and then get on over to this dentist. Happy Tuesday, by the way. I look a hot mess again, but I wasn't about to put on makeup because they're going to be all in my mouth. And I just I was like, what's the point? Because when I walk out of there, I'm sure it's going to be all, you know, so I didn't even bother. But yeah, I will update y'all later. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Hey y'all. Okay, I'm back. My dentist is fine. I mean, he is so fine. He came in and I was like, <sighs> and then I was looking at his hand and I was like, he's not married. And then he said, his, he and his girlfriend, I was like, damn it, he's got a girlfriend. But look at Bella, she's like, hold on, I wanna show y'all. She's looking like she's like, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't want to get her too hyped up. But when I came in here to look at her, like this is just, I feel like I have my dog back. And I'm just like so overjoyed. I mean, she still needs to be in the kennel. And I it breaks my heart because look how excited she is. Hey baby. Oh, you must be feeling so much better. You look so much better. Oh, that makes mommy so happy. Anyways, y'all, I'm be living at this damn dentist this year. But um, I got, hold on. Oh, I got like, they couldn't do like a, like a cleaning cleaning, but they did as much as they could. Um, they talked about just the things that need to be done. We did talk about me getting a tooth, like an implant. And I was like, doesn't that hurt? And he said that extractions hurt worse from what patients have said. So, but obviously, you know, that's, <laughs> um, that's not even on this treatment plan. But you guys, I don't remember how many cavities I have. It's a lot. I haven't been since I've been to the dentist once in my life. This is my second ever dentist appointment. So I knew going into this that I was going to need a deep cleaning. I thought it was going to be way more than it is. And I'm just so happy. Like, I was just like, oh my gosh. I also thought that I was going to need some, like, I thought I was going to have to lose some teeth because there's a tooth like right here. And it's a cavity and he was like tapping and all kinds of stuff. He's so hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me stop. But he was doing that and he was like, this hurt. And I'm like, it doesn't hurt at all. And so he was like, okay, we can just fill it. And I was like, oh, thank God. Cause I thought I was going to have to lose it. And you can see that when I smile. And I was just like, oh, so I was really nervous about that. But I do have to have extractions because there's a tooth back here that needs to be extracted, but you won't necessarily see that. I don't think. This one, there's still the root of the tooth, so I'm gonna have to have that extracted. And that's, like, it's on, it's, it's happening. But I go back next Monday to start the process, and they're gonna do the, I don't know if it's the left or the right side first, I don't know, I think, I don't know, I can't read this stuff. But whatever side it is, I think she said it's the right side. Um, so yeah, I made a promise to myself that this year I was going to be courageous. And this year I was really going to put my health first and force, form, foremost, front and center. And that was in all aspects. Like going and getting, I need to go get a mammogram this year. Um, y'all know I just went to the doctor, still waiting on those freaking results, by the way. I actually saw him. I saw him while I was, like, talking to the dentist out the window. I saw my doctor walk through, and I walked by, and I was like, 
Hey. <laughs> um, someone did message me, though, and said give him grace because there's probably a lot of results. And he, if he hasn't received a red flag on my results, which he didn't, then he's not going to get to them. So just be patient. So I am. Yeah, that's that. That's going to do it for today because I'm about to make me some lunch. I got to do some editing. And uh, I need to get my life together, y'all. I've... I need to go get a workout. I was supposed to go work out. I didn't think this doctor's appointment, this dentist, I didn't think the dentist appointment was gonna last as long as it did. So I was supposed to do my walk after I got back, but I'm gonna eat real quick and then I'm gonna go do a workout. But yeah, that's really it for today. I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. And I know I gotta go to the bank tomorrow. I'm gonna go donate those clothes. So we're gonna do a couple of things. So I will see y'all then. I'm really happy though. I feel a sense of relief because number one, yeah, it's expensive as hell, but it's not nearly as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. And it's gonna put, it's gonna make me more confident. I'm gonna be able to wear my snap-on veneers again after all of this is done. And I'm getting this taken care of. This is something I've known for a very, 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 very long time that I've needed to do. And I've been like, no, 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 no. But we're getting it done. So I'm so proud of myself. Also, y'all um, in the comment section were like, you left me hanging with the date. Um, I didn't have the date until that night. So that's why I kind of left y'all hanging. I didn't mean to, but it was a virtual date and it went really well. Very much so, again, checking off a lot of boxes, a lot of boxes. So we're supposed to meet up. We're not supposed to. We are going to meet up in person this Saturday for coffee. So I'm gonna have to leave y'all hanging again this week though, because I don't vlog. I'll vlog on Saturday, but I won't, that won't be until the next week. So maybe y'all go follow me on TikTok. Maybe I'll do updates there. I'm excited, but I'm also really freaking nervous, like really nervous, but we got this. I mean, I just went to the dentist, right? Hey guys, happy. Wednesday. I'm wearing sunglasses. It is in fact not sunny. We are on day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day six, no sun and cloudy and looking like it's going to rain. Have I told y'all this year that I'm over the rain? <sighs> Even Ava told me yesterday, she said, man, I sure do love rain. But even I am tired of it. And I said, baby girl, I know. I know. Anyways, I'm headed to the gym. Then I gotta go to the bank. Then I have to go drop off these clothes at the women's shelter. Then I gotta go to, what's it called? Target to go get antibiotics because they want me to start on the antibiotics the night before my cleaning. And they're gonna do, I think it's the right side that they're doing on Monday. So I'm here at Dollar General looking at their water selection. I've never seen these before. I'm looking for, what is it? Um, oh, I wonder how that one is. I'm looking for like pina colada. They don't have pina colada, but they do have like, I wonder how this tastes. Like in some sparkling water? Should we try it? Hmm, cherry 7-Up. Got nerds. Berry cherry and berry blue jelly belly. I've never seen this before. Alright, I'm gonna check out what they have and I'll show y'all what I end up getting. So, this is what I got. I did not find the pina colada, so I think I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree, which I just remembered there's a Dollar Tree where I just came from that I haven't looked at yet, but it's okay. I haven't looked at the Dollar Tree that's by my house. I got peach! Sunkissed peach. I've seen Tanya from TikTok use this. It's the strawberry watermelon duo, and I've been dying to try that um, because the watermelon that I have is too intense, and I don't like it. I don't remember what brand it is, 
But I did get this Jelly Belly, very cherry and berry blue. And then I got this strawberry peach from Welch's. I'm excited. So we'll definitely make a water today when we get home. But I'm going to go donate these clothes, head on over to Target, and then check out Dollar Tree while I'm out as well. So we'll see if we can find that pina colada because I really, really, really want a pina colada mix. I really didn't have anything. Um, the sun is kind of trying to come out now, y'all. Okay, I gotta go find some dry shampoo. I also looked in there to see if they had dry shampoo. I had a bottle this big. I was like, I would use that in a day. <laughs> so, we're gonna go see if Target has... No, we're gonna go get dry shampoo from Target and then get my prescription and head on home. Why is dry, dry shampoo so expensive now? This is the best. I found. If you have tried this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak, let me know what you think of it. I would like to find something cheaper than this because this is $11.49 and this is $6.49. See what this is. Collab. This is on sale for $7.19. It says no white. I'm just gonna go with a Batiste. Go with what I know. Hey guys, um, so it's been like several hours later. What was I gonna say? I made a drink. I haven't drank much. I was eating lunch and stuff like that. I was talking to her, um, finished a workout, all that kind of stuff. Um, anyways, I, in this, did the Starburst Duo Strawberry Watermelon. This one is really good. If you can get your hands on this one, give it a try. Give it a try. It is definitely delicious. And then I just added mermaid. Y'all, my kids are now obsessed. I'm like, y'all, y'all need to back up my off my stuff. Cause this stuff's expensive. <laughs> just kidding. But they're drinking more water because they're now flavoring. They don't flavor all their water. They're like me. They don't flavor all of it. But some of them they do. And because they're flavoring their water, they're they're getting in more water. So that was really good, but they really love that mermaid syrup as well. Um, this one, if you don't like the aspartame that's in a lot of these drink packets, because a lot of these have aspartame in them, if you don't like that, then it says vitamin C in it. Welch's does not have aspartame. You can find some of them that don't have aspartame, but I already showed y'all this, but I'm gonna show y'all again. Strawberry peach. Because I'm debating, I'm like, which one should I do next? Because, like, peach on peach would be good to do this. And then, y'all, look at my peach. I have been obsessed. Where is it? It's right here. I have been obsessed with this peach. Look how much is gone. New uh, top five, 100%. If you go get this one. If you like peach stuff, go get it. It's a very delicious. I've been... Combining it with mango. It's really 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 good. So yeah There's that I got I was looking at another I went ahead and I went with the Batiste There was this other one and I looked up a review and I was like, yeah, no see because I have one Anytime I have tried other dry shampoos. They're just not as good This one just really soaks up that oil and it leaves a white cast, but I just use it at night, which I noticed that Batiste, I'm like, marketing, and they're charging more for it. Don't buy that. Don't buy it, because it's an overnight one. Put this in at night. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I put it in at night, 
And when I wake up in the morning, I don't have a white cast. If you don't think about it or you get oily throughout the day, put this in your hair. I showed y'all this in a vlog, but it's a really good hack. Put this in your hair. I don't like the color, the one that has tint to it, because I'm very much so a run my fingers through my hair all day long. And that junk gets up underneath your nails. Take a hair dryer. Go ahead spray it on i always say let it sit let dry shampoo sit go spray it go do your makeup let it really soak up that oil and then to get the extra white cast out just use a blow dryer especially like a really powerful one you should be good to go so my doctor got back with me you guys there ain't nothing wrong with me nothing he said no anemia LDL bad cholesterol is 125 and he said goal is less than 130 because it showed that my that that was high so I was a little worried about that I was like oh, shit, am I gonna have to like go on like cholesterol medication like what that was another thing I don't think I mentioned that because I don't know I just didn't share everything with y'all but um, it says this is flagged as elevated, but this is actually at goal remainder of cholesterol profile optimal as well thyroid testing normal, B12 level normal, blood sugar, kidney function, liver function, electrolytes normal, all labs normal. I mean, I guess the elevated red blood cells, apparently that was not anything to like get, make him be like, well, you know, I want to comment back, but I can't comment back on this. So anyways, I got to go work. Did I tell you all I have a date tomorrow? So I gotta put on my nails. I don't know what nails I wanna put on. Um, I also wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna be air frying these tonight. So hopefully they come out good, but I'm gonna let y'all know how this comes out and I'm gonna show y'all what, what I do. So I will see you guys later on tonight. I'm gonna show y'all what nails I end up doing and I'm excited. I'm gonna have me a little self-care night tonight. I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna shave. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna do a face mask. I'm gonna do all the things. I'm gonna go film because I gotta film a video for my weight loss channel. And I will talk to y'all later. By the way, this is delicious. I don't know. I didn't try it on camera for y'all. Mm. It's so good. Try this one if you guys are into the flavored waters. MGE 10 saves you 10% on skinny mixes. Love you. Bye. Okay, so guys, it is 7.05. Where did the time go? I don't know. But this is what we're about to do. We're about to drain. I'm going to do two cans. Because what if we really like it, you know? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open these whole potatoes. And you drain all of the juice and then I'm gonna put it onto my air fryer tray. And I just looked at the TikTok and it says to put it in the air fryer on two, at 200 for 20 minutes. I'm kind of skeptical about that, I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And I'm like, I really don't have time. So I, sh I should have started this earlier. You know what? Y'all, I get to editing and I swear to you, I lose all track of time. Like, I really do. I'm just popping these, ooh, ooh, popping these on this tray. And we're gonna put it in the air fryer. What am I, what seasoning am I gonna put? We need to put some, I think I'm just gonna do some spray. Um, uh, what do we want? We could do rosemary would be good. Let's try rosemary. So, so this is what we're looking like. I'm just gonna spray it. <laughs> um, and then put some rosemary. I'm also gonna season it with some salt. We're gonna see how it comes. I'm putting it in there at 200 for 20 minutes. I have a pot roast. We loved our pot, pot roast so much last week and the kids freaking devoured it. But I got one for this week again and I just popped it in there, threw on some seasoning 
and it's been cooking all day and it smells delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the air fryer like so. Bring this baby out. Y'all believe today is the last day of May. We gotta plug her in. We're gonna put her on 200. Let's see if one of these are like, says 200. That one's close. What's this though? This one's light. 200 for 20 minutes. All right, I'll see y'all in 20. Moment of truth. Who thinks they're gonna be ready? I don't think they're gonna be ready. Yep, I knew it. This is not what the lady that did the TikTok looked like. Her potatoes did not look like this. So, I'm gonna do it my way and I'm gonna do 400 for about 10 minutes and we'll see what it's looking like after 10 minutes on 400. So I put them in there for another, probably like 12 or more minutes and they're still not done. I should have just went with my gut and did 400 at 20 minutes. But anyways, I narrowed it down for my nails of what I'm gonna do. It's these ones. These are my favorite. They're one of my favorites. They're the Impress ones, and they're in the color Lovely. They're just really classic, basic, but also they're going to match with anything and everything. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet tomorrow. And then for, like, the date date, I have no idea for Saturday. Okay, so this is what they ended up turning out to look like. I say 20 minutes at 400 should do the trick but let's taste test them this is my pork roast by the way and some green beans hey, fa. okay yeah and that was quick and simple and easy you literally just drain the can throw them in the air fryer season them up who comes up I feel like they need a little more seasoning. They would definitely be better with some butter or some like actual olive oil on them. But pretty dang good. If I do say, my, say so myself. Give these a try. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Happy Thursday. This is literally my reaction. You guys don't even know how excited I am. I was literally like... What do you think has me this excited? Oh my gosh. I literally feel like I haven't been this excited. Oh my god. I seriously would just want to jump in. Oh my gosh. 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 Okay, let me tell you what's got me so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm gonna meet the Venus Marshall. Well, I guess. Yes! They're going on tour and they're coming here to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's their first stop. I freaking love the fitness marshal. I love Haley. She's such an amazing dancer. And so is, why can't I think of her name? Allison, she like kills it too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so going to this. It says it's about damn time we go on tour. Our first one in four years. Come dance, sweat, and slay with us in this 90 minute, oh my gosh. My neighbors hate me right now, I don't care. 90 minute cardio concert experience. Tickets available. Let me see, I haven't even, how much do tickets cost before I get too excited? How much are these bit? Oh wait, hold up. Yo, ah, uh -uh. see this, hmm. I mean, he does have millions of followers. Y'all. Okay, so general admission is $30, $35. So you don't get to meet him unless you pay. I don't like that fitness marshal. Like, I think you have millions of subscribers and stuff, but oh, I was really hoping that it was gonna kind of be like a thing where it was like with Jessica, where we would be able to meet her and everything. And then for $100, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If the kids don't wanna go and it's just me, I'll spend $100, because I really do wanna meet them. I think it's like, I don't really wanna have to pay and I feel like I shouldn't have to pay to meet you because I support you on a monthly basis anyways, but that's just my opinion. 
I mean, he's running a business and he's got to do what he's got to do and he's got employees and stuff. So I get it, but then I kind of don't. The $100 one would be you get second entry into the, v into the venue. You get VIP meet and greet with the fitness marshal. You get a laminate and then you get the concert. So doors open at 2.30. For $60, okay. $60, you get to still meet them. So I pro do I want to meet them? It all depends on if the kids want to go or not. Um, Cause I sure as hell not paying no 300 freaking dollars to meet him. I'll pay the 35 times three. But I wish that he didn't have to do, but he's probably going to have like a lot of people at this concert if, or if at this like dance thing. Anyways, I'm so freaking excited and I am definitely going to either meet the fitness marshal or I'm going to just go and, and dance and it'll be so, whatever the case. It's going to be so much fun and I'm so freaking glad that he picked Charlotte and it's going to be a good time. I'm so freaking excited. So anyways, I had to come tell y'all that. I'm going to see y'all later because today I have my virtual date and I'm really excited about that too. So I got to go get ready and figure out what the heck I'm going to wear. I'm going to try to figure out what the heck I'm going to wear for this actual in-person date that we have on Saturday. So, yeah. Anyways, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I have said that more than enough times. I will see y'all later, and y'all can see how cute I is when I get dressed. I put my makeup on for my date tonight. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I'm all ready for my virtual dates. I'm on this really pretty dress. And obviously it doesn't matter that it's a dress. I just really love the color. It's so pretty on my skin tone. Um, I was gonna wear this one, but it's like super open because I was actually gonna, I, had, I actually had on a pink dress, but then I realized I was like, it was like spilling out. So I was like, mm -mm, it was too low cut. And so I was gonna wear this one and then I was like, oh, it's like too open. This one is so pretty. I freaking love this dress. But someone on Instagram, thank you girl so much. This was on TikTok and she, hold up, I, I gotta, I gotta set my phone up while I'm, while I'm doing this because I put it on a tripod. Um, but it's like a micro stitch because y'all know like all the time I'm always getting tops and I'm like, oh, this is too big right here. Oh, this is too big right here. And so basically what someone on TikTok did was buy this and it puts in little stitches where it's too big in the chest. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's freaking genius. So I haven't obviously tried it. I just got it in the mail today. And if I had more time, I would totally wear that one and try this one on camera with y'all. But we will try it. I will link it down below. If you have that same issue like I do, I think that this is going to be freaking genius and a lifesaver and like something that I have been looking for my whole entire life because I've always had issues with shirts in the chest being too dang big. So we still have a few minutes. Um, he usually is like very punctual, pu punctual, oh, no, 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 no. He's usually very punctual. Is that how you call it? So he will call at exactly seven o'clock. Let me make sure I don't have anything in my teeth. We're good. Hair could be a little straightened, but I was, I was recording and I recorded later than I wanted to. So I'm kind of a little bit behind. Um, so I'm like, oh my gosh, it was supposed to be 645, but I told him, I was like, can we do seven? Because, ugh. um, so yeah, I just finished eating and... Let me go put this up real quick because I don't want this sitting here. But I really wanted to wear this one because I like this one better. But that will be for when I go out like somewhere, somewhere nice, you know. Um, but this is this is my actual outfit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, but how cute is this dress? I will link this dress down below too. It is freaking beautiful. I also have this in pink as well. But this is it. Oh, what I was saying was 
I was rushing. So while I was doing the video, I was getting a little sweaty. And then my hair kind of got a little frizzy and I really wanted to put aside some time to ugh, be able to straighten it, but it just didn't happen. So about to go my dad. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So, um, I mean, what a good day today. I'm going to go see the fitness marshal. By the way, my kids don't want to see him. They were both like, like when I asked Ava, she was like, kind of like looking at me like, do you want me to go with you? Can I not go? And so I told her, I was like, look, if you don't want to go, don't feel obligated because if you don't go, then I'm going to meet him. But if you do go, then I'll have to get a different price. And she was like, oh no, you can go. <laughs> so neither one of them wanted to go. So that kind of makes me happy because A, it's me getting out of my comfort zone and I'm doing something that's like really scary because I'm going to this event where there's who knows how many people there's going to be and I'm going alone. Oh, oh no, this bracelet just snagged on this dress. Oh, but um, I am going to pay the $100. I know some of y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but, you know, I really like him. He brings me a lot of joy. I do his workouts all the time. Like, he makes working out fun for me, you know. So I will happily pay $100 to go do a 90-minute dance class and then on top of that I get to meet him hopefully we get to meet the girls too because I really I mean I love Caleb but I'm gonna be honest well I don't I'm sure I would because he is so funny but just the three of them together is just like a great combo and they're just funny and I don't know I freaking love them so I'm gonna pay the hundred dollars and I'm gonna go see them anyways I'm gonna go I will let y'all know maybe tonight um depending we'll probably talk till about 10 which is about three hours and then i feel like i need to blow my nose um i can tell how i'm bigger <laughs> we'll probably talk for three hours so it'll be about 10 and then i'll still have to like take my makeup off and stuff like that but um yeah i'll update y'all when when the date's over. I don't think there's any water. A mess I'm here at the dollar store. Another one. And I don't see any water packets. None at all. Oh, wait. Here they are. No pina colada, though. Mm. That's it. Mm -hmm. I am getting some sandwich bags, though. Hey okay, guys, so happy Friday. So I just, whew, very productive. It's 1230. I went to the gym. I went to, and I went grocery shopping. Then I went to Dollar Tree trying to find pina colada. They didn't have it. So I got, I got to get sandwich bags though. Then I did a walk, workout outside. It is warm out there. I got to put these leggings up. It's time for the leggings to go up and it's time for the shorts to come out. Hopefully it stays that way. It's so beautiful outside today. Like it's definite pool weather. I just have too much to do, but we're having a pool day tomorrow. But I came home, I cleaned all of my fruit and produce and I cut up my watermelon. So yummy. But yeah, my date last night was amazing. It, we talked for three and a half hours. It was awesome. And we're very excited. I told him, I said, I'm really excited for tomorrow, but I'm also very nervous because I'm it's and it's weird because it's like we've literally had what was it five virtual dates and each virtual date has lasted like three and a half to four hours. So five, 10, 15, 20. So we have had like 25 hours about worth of conversation. And yet I'm still freaking nervous. <laughs> but it's going to be it's going to be great. I'm going to be great. I'm not going to be awkward, and if I am, it's okay, because he might be awkward, too. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. And that is going to do it for today. I've got to film. I know I've been looking like this, like, every day, <laughs> pretty much. But I am going to 
after I'm done with my other workout, I'm going to go, oh my, because I am so just like, just gross. I'm going to get in the shower and then I got to film a video and then I got to do some editing. So I have a full work day ahead of me. Um, I'm glad I was able to get my, what's it called? My Saturday, like part of my Saturday chores out of the way though. So that's done. All the produce is clean, put up. I was like, I have the energy now. Let's go ahead and get it done. So yeah, I'm excited. So anyways, it's literally 80 degrees outside. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. I'm, gonna I'm going to the pool tomorrow. After my dates, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to eat some lunch and I'm going to the pool and I'm just going to lay and float and just mm, relax. I mean, I'll probably do some swimming too because I, you know, love swimming, but diving for some sticks, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I love you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, oh, I wanted to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all this next time because I'm not getting in that dress. I'm just not. I'm sweaty and gross and ugh. So I will show you guys this next week. Promise, okay? Uh, and we'll try it on this dress that I love but don't like to wear because, I mean, it's just so you know, um, and I'm sure I have a lot more in my closet that does that. But anyways, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I will keep you guys updated on Mr. Virtual because we like him. We like him. And hopefully I can like start spending more time with him, not over the phone, you know, outside in the real world. So I can see if we still like him, you know, out and about, see how he treats people. I mean, from conversation, it seems like he is very, very kind and very sweet and has a really big heart. But like I say all the time, words don't mean anything to me anymore. I got to see your actions because your actions are going to speak way louder than words so. so i'm about to edit i totally forgot to update you guys on the whole because i told you i would know by wednesday i about whether i'm gonna stay here or i'm gonna move i called them and i'm in we're in negotiation right now because um yeah we're in negotiation i would like to to go i would like to leave but there's just a lot of stuff that's happening in July and August and I just am not comfortable doing so. And there's a lot still financially that I want to do before I commit to a higher house payment. And I just can't take that risk, you know, like, cause I have not been finding anything. So I'm more leaning towards staying here. Um, so I wanted to update you guys on that as well. There was something else. Oh, I bought the fitness marshal tickets this morning and I'm going to be VIP. So it's like the second, the second VIP. So I will get there at two o'clock and I'll be able to get a good spot. And oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. So I will be also doing that on July 30th. If you guys want, I know some of y'all are going to be like, I'm not paying no hundred because with taxes and stuff and all these fees, it ended up coming out to be like fees and everything. It ended up being $123. So it's like, I know that that's a lot. I get it. But for me, it's totally worth it because of the fact that it's a 90 minute workout class. I know how much dance classes cost. And then that's not someone who has over 5 million followers. You know what I mean? So I'm totally happy to pay for it. I know some of y'all are going to be like, you are crazy. I don't care because I am going to meet him. And I'm going to meet Haley and Allison and I'm so freaking excited. Anyways, it'll be good content too for my, for my channel. So win-win on all sides. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye guys.